gender? What is called gender in limbal language? How many type of gender are there in limbal language? Hi there. Asiwaru adang badang masi. You are welcome back to online limbal tutorial. Learn limbal language with Sansa Bilsuba. In this video, we are going to learn about gender, what we call in limbo language and how many type of gender are there in limbo language. All, the, all these things will be learned in this video. And in the previous video, we have learned about nouns and its types. If you have not watched that video, please watch that that video also. The link is given in the description. So now I'm beginning this tutorial. So first you have to listen. I'm reading the definition of two or gender. Basically, gender is called as two in our limbo language. So I'm first I'm reading the definition of two in written in limbo language. And after that, I will read the uh, transcription of gender. And you know, while reading, you have to just listen carefully. And after that, you have to follow me, follow my pronunciation, so that you can able to pronounce uh, the whatever written in limbo language. And the word meaning is given along with the uh, definition. So let's start. Tu mepnaben yambicha menchuma nu lamsi kehopa o mingharin kusin. Kusin hinja pitu angge kwa mana lum nisan hin wagira. Now you can follow after me. Tu mepnaben Yambitta Mentuma Nu Lamsik Kihopa O Ming Ha Ren Kusin Kusin Hinza Pitsu Onge Kwa Mana Lung Nisam Him Wagira is transcription. Just you listen carefully. Gender A gender is the division of nouns into male, female, and sexless. It is called as two. Gender For example, boy girl, baby, person, stone, school, etc. So you know gender, uh, basically gender means just the division of noun into male, female and sexless basically into three category male, female and sexless uh, you know which is called as two in limbo language i've already given in the example like boy girl baby person stone school etc you know uh, we can uh, separate boy and girl according to their character according to their behavior and Basically, I would like to make it clear about sex and gender. First of all, uh, though in grammar, gender means quite related to sex. But what is the difference between sex and gender? Let me make you clear. Sex means biological difference between boy and girl. 
man and woman or same in animal also like dog cat pig goat cow tiger or any other animals like that their sex means sexual difference between boy and girl male and female whereas gender means not their sexual difference their characteristics their social behavior uh, between a uh, boy and girl that is called gender and here in boy the boy got uh, the boy's voice is boy's voice is different than girl voice and girl has very high pitch the ball boy has very low pitch and you know big sound and the girl has real sound boy doesn't have that sound and there is uh, so many habit and characteristics uh the which we can uh, identify whether it is girls or boys uh, similarly but they are like person it is either boy or male we can understand both and similarly stone we cannot identify whether it is boy girl or whether it is you know we cannot identify whether it has sex or not uh generally the stone schools are the non living thing they do not have sex and they comes under different genders now we are going to learn types of gender churen parikha follow after me churen parikha once more churen parikha okay uh, if you want to learn the pro pronunciation or that is written in lingua language you can pause the video here again and then play and repeat this process until and unless you are get unless you get perfect uh, i am reading the that is written in lingua language the types of gender Chu in lisi pariko hama sukte. Yem chu, met chu, net chu, nu, memun chu. Translation: Gender can be divided into four types: masculine, feminine, common, and neuter. How many type of gender in limbo language? in according to limbu grammar there are four types of gender the first is masculine gender second is feminine gender third is common and fourth is neuter gender you know masculine gender is called as yemchu feminine gender is called as metchu common gender is called as what Netchu and neuter gender is called as memunchu. So we are going to learn the definition of each uh, gender. Uh, remember, uh, in limbo language, a gender is divided into four types based on its use, but it may not be applicable in English and some other languages. So be careful, because in other languages. uh only there are three types of gender available but we have four types of gender so remember and it may not be similar to other languages now i am reading the definition of yem chu or masculine gender so please uh, listen carefully atin sang mengi le yem bi cha थक्सा रक कुसिंग नितेर खेनिन यमचु मेमेतु कुसिंग हिन्जा यमबिचा मांग केबा पा इंगवा वगेरा नाउ फॉलो आफ्टर मी आ तीन छंग मिंगिले यमबिचा थक्सा रक कुसिंग नितेर खेनिन यमचु 
메메뚜 끝인 인자 연비차 망 깨바 빠 인과 워기라 A noun is translation. A noun that denotes only a male animal is called as M2, masculine gender. Example, boy, man, god, tiger, father, cock, etc. So, remember, masculine gender is called as M2 in Limbu language. Follow me. M2. Two. Once more, M2. Okay. You know, masculine gender is called as M2. So, basically, you know masculine, what is called masculine gender. The noun, that noun which denotes only male animal. Like, boy, man, father, god, cock. All these are the examples of masculine gender we can understood only male animal and now we are going to learn the second gender second types of gender that is feminine gender and in limbu what do you call math to follow after me math to once more math to so now I am reading the definition of Matthew. So listen carefully. Atin chang mingi le mensu ma haksa rak kusing nitet keni Matthew me metu. Kusing mensu ma sa mensu ma mang ma ke ma ma wa ma wogera. Now follow after me. Atin chang mingi le mensu ma haksa rak kusing nitet kenin met tu me met tu kusing mensu ma sa mensu ma mang ma ke ma Ma, Wama, Wagera. Now I am reading the transcription of feminine gender or Matthew. A noun that denotes only a female animal is called as Matthew. Feminine gender. Example girl, woman, goddess, tigress, mother, hen, etc. So remember, you know, Matthew or feminine gender means that denotes only a female animal. We can understood only female, female animal, like girl, woman, goddess. These are the examples of feminine gender. You know, tigris, mother, and etc. And you know what is difference between feminine gender and masculine gender? Masculine gender means only uh, that noun that denotes only male animals. Whereas feminine gender means the noun or noun that denotes only a female animal. Actually, it is a name of noun. Uh, you know, girl is also name of noun. Boy is also name of noun. Woman is also name of noun. Tiger is also name of noun. But who is gender? It is. Tigris means feminine gender. Tiger means you know masculine gender. What is called masculine gender in Limbo language? Yen Chu. And what is called feminine gender? It is called Met Chu. 
hopefully you got the idea we have learned till now two types of gender that is Yemchu and Matthew. So now we are going to learn third types of gender in Limbu language. And remember this third type of gender may not be available in some other languages. So be careful. That is common gender or Netsu. In Limbu language, common gender is called as Netsu. Now I am reading the definition of Netsu. So you listen carefully. Atin chang mingi le yambi cha ya Netsu ma kusing mi te. Kani Netsu me me tu. Kusing. Aunge kwa mana thaksa pu wa wogera. So follow after me. Atin chang mingi le yambi cha ya mensuma kusing nitet kenin net tu memet tu kusing onge kwa mana thaksa pu wa wogera transcription a noun that denotes either a male or a female is called as netsu common gender for example baby person animal bird fall etc so common gender is called as netsu in lingu language so it is a combination of masculine gender and feminine gender or yemchu and metsu it is a combination of yemchu and metsu so remember uh, in common gender or netsu we cannot identify we cannot denote whether it is a male or female we cannot separate we cannot distinguish uh, between male and female so already given you an example baby In Limbu language, we call it Onge Kwa. Baby or Onge Kwa. We cannot identify whether it is male or whether it is female. Like person. We can understand both person, both male and female. Whether it is woman, whether it is man, whether it is boy, whether it is girl. There is no clarity, but we understand both of them. So remember that is that means common gender. But it doesn't mean gay. Remember, it doesn't mean third gender of uh, like gay. So remember, it is not that. That is different thing. I will let you know in the next gender. Uh, here. Common means both the we can understand both gender, male and female. So like animal, we understood both male and female animal, like bird, fall, you know fall, hen. We can understand hen means female and cock means male, but fall means we can understand both both of. Is, uh, I hope you got the idea of what is called common gender and now we are going to learn uh, fourth gender that is mem munchu follow after me mem munchu mem munchu which is called as neuter gender in English so now I am reading the definition of Memunchu or neutral gender. You listen carefully. Atin chan mingi le sok ma menne ba chigo kwa kusing ni te ken yambi cha ya menchu ma sen ma suk mendek nen kenin memenchu memetu kusing lung sapten 
samyang, sapon, him, hinja yang, sat ningwa, uogira. Follow after me. Atin chang, mingile, sakma, meneba, jigokwa, kusin nite. Ken, yambicha, ya, menchuma, semma, suk medet nen, kenin, memmunchu, memetu. Kusin, lung, sapten, samyang, sapon, him, hinjayam, chatniwa, uwagira. Transcription. A noun that denotes a non-living thing that cannot be separated into male and female is called as memo two or neuter gender. Example: stone, table, gold, home, childhood, intelligent, etc. So. Neuter gender is called as memon to in limbo language. What is called neuter gender in limbo language? We call it memon to. So it is a fourth gender in our limbo language, and some other language it is a third gender. So remember that common gender may not be available in some most of the languages. So neuter gender, it is a Gender. Uh, that is a noun that denotes only a non-living thing, which cannot be identified whether it is male or female. Which cannot be separated. It doesn't have any sex. It doesn't have any uh, male and female category. Remember. But in common gender, we can uh, understand both gender, male and female. But here. Neuter gender means we do not understand whether it is male or female. So remember, but there is a non-living thing. However, there is an exception, like gay. Though they are living living being, we consider them as neuter gender. So remember, don't be confused and. I have given you the example of neutral gender that is stone. Stone is non living thing. In limbo, we call it loom. Table. In limbo, sapten. Gold. In limbo, samyang. Home. In limbo, what do you call? Him. Childhood. Hinjayam. Intelligent. Chatningwa. So these are the example of neutral gender. So remember, there is a exception in neutral gender, like uh, in limbo language, abstract noun like salute, intelligence, happiness, sadness are included in neutral gender. So you got the idea. An abstract noun like Salute, intelligence, happiness, all these are the included in neutral gender. These are not the common gender because we cannot identify whether it is male and female and whether it is a living and non-living thing also. It is a abstract things and so we include it in the neutral gender. So I hope you got the idea what is called gender in limbo language and how many type of gender are there in limbo language so we have learned and you can get this written material on official website of online limbo tutorial uh, you can visit the link is given in the description and if you like this video please share it to your friend also and you can help me to translate subtitles in uh, nepali or some other languages and the link is given in the description and so thank you for watching this tutorial video
Till then, stay tuned to online limbo tutorial. I will come up with new tutorial video. See you in the next video. Asewaro.